If you are in kids ministry or any next gen ministry, you know that one of the most critical pieces of your role is connecting the church with the home. And so while we sometimes think church first, meaning how do we engage kids when they are with us for small groups or Sunday school, VBS, etc., thinking that the purpose is to link what you're teaching kids at church to the home. And so your strategy in doing this has been to connect with parents about which Bible stories kids are learning, and how they can continue that learning at home. All of that is completely fine and good until a pandemic hits. Suddenly, the whole model most of us have established is completely flipped. So now we think home first, right? Even if kids are starting to come back to church, we know that this next year is going to be uncertain, and we want families to be discipling at home. Because remember, This has been our goal all along. So we know the why behind family ministry is to equip parents to be the primary discipler of their children because it is a biblical command in Deuteronomy 6. Most of us have been banging this drum for a really long time, and now is our time to truly call the families we serve to action, whether at church or at home, and right now, especially at home. How do we do this? Well, let me give you three guiding principles and three actual ideas to take away with you for ministry right now. Here we go. Principle number one for reaching families at home. Make it easy and accessible. We know parents are busy and even overwhelmed right now, many of them working full time and monitoring kids learning at home or navigating changes to school schedules, job responsibilities, and wondering what is happening next. So if we want them to disciple their children at home, let's make it as easy as possible. One idea for this is to send them one link per week. Now, what's in that link is actually up to you. It might be Bible story videos with follow-up questions. It might be a family activity or a prayer prompt. Whatever you choose to send them, consolidate your resources to one link and either email it to them or use a social media platform for them to access it. Or you can also post it to your church website. Now, guiding principle number two for reaching families at home. Give them God's word. Research tells us that the number one thing that affects spiritual growth in both kids and adults is reading the Bible. So let's challenge families to gather together and read scripture. Now more than ever, We need the comfort, wisdom, and truth about the authority of God over our lives. Now, an idea for how to do this is to ask families to commit to reading a book of the Bible together over the course of a month and choosing one scripture to memorize. Now, it would help if you went ahead and chose the book and verse for them, maybe even sending them a daily reading plan in that one link we just talked about. Have fun with this. Maybe create a cool calendar and fun social media posts reminding the parents you serve to read the Bible with their kids. Guiding principle number three is connect back to the gospel. We want our families to talk about the gospel together and often. So we need to equip them to be comfortable with having gospel conversations throughout the week. Everyday situations usually have a connecting point to Jesus. So the idea here is to use a simple format to help parents explain the gospel to their children. This could be done in the format of a video of you modeling a gospel presentation or a printable PDF explaining the gospel in age-appropriate ways. All right, so let's review here. The best way to reach families at home is to make it easy, give them God's word, and connect back to the gospel. Now, if you need some tangible ideas for how to do some of the things I've suggested, check out our at-home resources that come with any of our curriculum resources, including the Gospel Project for Kids, Bible Studies for Life Kids, or Explore the Bible Kids. Each of these have specific one-link resources for you to send your families to engage their kids with the Bible and ultimately point to Jesus. He's where our hope comes from, and the families you serve need the hope of Christ now more than ever.